and uh, Holy Spirit visited me for three days. And my life revolutionized. Your eyes opened. Some of you got prayed for tonight. You might wake up in the middle of the night and all of a sudden you see everything. See, because when the Holy Spirit takes your life over, you see. And you see through some sort of veil that's been around you. So I, I want you. I want to encourage everyone who you, who got prayed for tonight. Watch as the Lord just all of a sudden opens your eyes up into a new dimension. Now that's sort of what I, what I want to talk about at, tonight. I want. I feel like there's three impartations the Lord brought for me, uh, brought me here for to extend to you. Uh, I looked back, Jane, you and Tom, when I when we first started coming here way back in the, you know, I mean, 90s seem way back now, but early 90s, it was nothing. I mean, and I remember one, one of those gatherings that Bishop hosted, we, we broke a spirit of poverty over the whole region. And I mean, it broke. You felt it break. And I was telling Chad when we were coming in, let's thank God for Chad Foxworth, my faithful <laughs> servant of travel companion. And he, um, I was telling him, none of this was here. I mean, it, it, it didn't even look like this down here. And I know many of you are from here, but to see the drastic change that has gone on in a territory, and then to know the history of the prayer of what it took for it to go on. And it's miraculous when you drive down uh, this highway out here, and all the way into the airport. It's just miraculous. And so, with that, I the Lord began to speak to me something differently uh, for tonight. Uh, more of how this place established a portal so that a land could change. And really, when you think about what we're about right now, that's where we have to go again. That's where we have to go in this nation. One of the research, researches I've been doing are the portals that have been intersected and opened up all around D.C. And I'm talking about portals for evil access. And how impartation comes down through those portals. Well, when I think of CI, I think of how God opened up a portal to heaven and all of a sudden, when you walk in, there's revelation here. And you can receive revelation and enter into revelation. Dutch wrote me this week and said, uh, you gave a word last November that at the end of June and in July, Washington, D.C. would go into an uproar and change. And it has. Our whole nation is sort of in an uproar right now because... All of a sudden, God is setting a new line, plumb line of justice across it. Well, that's going to cause lots of changes. It's going to cause a lot of rearrangements. And, uh, and we even pulled out another word, and I'm saying these things for a reason. Uh, Brian found another word that I gave that when this movement started... For, uh, to save a generation, and really that's what we're in right now, uh, that when Kansas uh, became, and this is so key for you guys because you're so close up there, Kansas would be one of the deciding places in America for us to watch. And I think you can get that word off of the website. And uh, that word got pulled out. And when, when they heard that word, that word was given several years ago. 
And uh, they said, we have to get together, and we have to gather, and we have to worship and make decrees. And all of a sudden, in two days now, we're, we'll have a meeting in Kansas for our nation. Now, that is how God is moving in a lot of new ways with us. So, this is what I want to talk about tonight. I want to talk about how we're pulling heaven's breakthrough into the earth. Now, all of you out there, just reach up and say, I got a big handful I'm pulling down. And what's going to happen is sort of what Tom was prophesying and Jane were prophesying, we're going to start wearing this new glory realm. And wherever we walk, people are going to recognize it. And I want to go ahead and say this to all of us, we're going to be walking in places we didn't think we would be walking. And God is going to start covering the land with us in a lot of new ways. We have been, during these last three years, doing some very interesting things. We have one team led by one of the executives from one of the major airlines. And that team goes once a month into uh, the strip clubs of Dallas. And by doing that, we now have 200 children from those strip clubs that are now being ministered to. That is what God is doing. Now, we're all not called to the same thing, but there's something changing in all of our calls. Now, that's very, very important. I liked when Gail was up here because... My background, I'm, I'm a Daniel. I was trained uh, by Babylon. And yet, I knew the, Lo the Lord and had this core built within me from the time I got baptized in Holy Spirit so that in all of my world uh, invasion that I have done, that core, Babylon has never been able to pull me off center. And uh, therefore, I could have great influence in Babylon, like Daniel did. And so we want to understand that things are changing for all of us right now. 